Here with Jets receiver Lawrence Cager. Lawrence, as an undrafted free agent, you have a unique opportunity to choose what team you want to play for. So why were the Jets the right team for you? Yeah, I just think it was, you know, the best opportunity for me, um, you know, given the, you know, situation that they had. They had, you know, a, a great team, uh, had familiarity with the players, such as Sam, uh, Chris Herndon, Braxton. And, you know, during the whole draft process, I just felt, I had built a great relationship with Coach Jefferson, Coach Hines, Coach Gase. Um, and I just felt like, you, you know, it, where I get to pick my options now, um, why, why not go to a place where I feel like I have the most, you know, familiarity with, you know, the coaches. So that's really what came to the decision. And uh, I'm glad I made the decision to be a New York Jet. You played at Miami and then you transferred to Georgia. Sam Darnold played all the way out in USC. How do you two know each other? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, when you look at it outside of, you know, me and his relationship, it's like, that's weird. But um, me and him were, you know, top recruits coming out of high school and uh, and all the big camps, like the opening and uh, Army All-American game. Uh, me and him were always together. Like, he was my quarterback at the, at the opening and the Army game. So me and him just built a relationship there. And uh, me and him been been friends ever since. I've been talking to him mm, probably since the beginning of high school uh till till now so it's been a it's been a little relationship uh, bro <laughs> how would you describe your collegiate career that started in coral gables and ended in athens georgia i would describe it as the, an experience man um you know dealing with some injuries early uh you know tearing my acl in 2016 was really um you know a, a breakthrough that i needed because i up to that point i had never got hurt in sports like ever and it was just something it was a humbling moment because i really thought i was like superman and um so when i got hurt in 2016 it really you know it really changed my mental um because i started getting complacent a little bit i started you know feel accolades for my for my freshman season going into my sophomore season so it, it, it gave me the drive that i got today and i just you know during the years of me maturing i just got that i was able to refine those that hunger and, and put it all in the football field. And I think um, going into my last season at Georgia was one of the best seasons I ever had. Um, and then unfortunately I got hurt again, but you know, you you can't you can't dwell on the injuries. And I just I just feel like at Georgia, my playing at Miami and Georgia too, very prestigious football programs. Um, I couldn't ask for a better opportunity through college. How would you describe your game because I feel like when you look at somebody your size, everybody's going to think, okay, he's that power forward mentality type on the field. But how would you describe your game? Yeah, obviously, you know, as a big guy, you got to go up, be aggressive, get the ball. And that's what I do to the one of the things I do best. But another thing I do best is I'm a very quick uh, for a, a guy my size. Uh, a lot of people don't realize until we start playing. And, um, and then it's too late after that. I'll say bit big and fast but i'm very quick quick off the line quick in my routes um so you know it's more of a, a big guy that that can go up and get it but finesse as well what rookie goals do you have if any the first rookie goal i have is you know just to make a positive impact on the team whether that be offense or special teams just do something positive for the team uh be a team player and uh be one of the guys that you know the coaches can trust on for the future uh, is my first goal. My second goal, if, if given an opportunity, would be to, to make the all-rookie team. That's just a goal that I always had um, written down since I was in college. Um, so, you know, to knock that off my list probably would be a, a great feeling as well. But the main goal is just to be a reliable option for my team this year. Orange, we appreciate your time. Good luck with the rest of the virtual program and looking forward to seeing you on the field. Yes, sir. Thank you.